in Grand Central Station in New York City where thousands of commuters travel in and out of every day. But public transportation is about to take an exciting new turn with the arrival of electric aircraft like the one behind me that will change commuting forever. Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, like the one Joby is displaying here today, will be able to carry four passengers and travel between 60 and 100 miles. The first air taxi services could start in 2025. So let's hear more about what Joby has in store to move you around. So the mission of Joby is to save people an hour a day and to do it sustainably and safely. So this aircraft is electric propulsion, zero emission. It takes off vertically like a helicopter and transitions to an airplane so it can fly very quickly, but also very quietly. When it flies overhead, you cannot hear it. Only 45 decibels, and yet the sounds of a city and a community is 65 decibels. So it's virtually quiet overhead. So it makes it a very, very quick and easy and seamless customer experience to go from say downtown Manhattan to the airports or out into like Long Island. So we're, we're getting closer and closer to operations. So we're targeting the end of next year to be launching in Dubai. Uh, and in parallel, we're working with the FAA for the US. So New York and LA will be our US markets. It is likely that we'll start in Dubai in late next year. And we have a already big building out the Vertiport at the Dubai International Airport to take people from the airport out to Palm Jumai, which is about a 45 minute to an hour ride and it'll take 10 minutes on our aircraft. Now the reason we've chosen Dubai is the, the Emirates government is very much leaning into innovation, sustainability, new forms of transportation, and they have given us a six year exclusive to provide air taxi service in Dubai. Joby is working closely with key partners in the air transport industry. Delta Airlines wants to offer its passengers something new. We have spent uh, an enormous amount of time looking at what the future of travel looks like. And we looked, I mean, we looked at 18 different Evital companies as we went through this. But Joby for us really stood out, not just because of who they were partnered with, but their commitment to the customer experience. And for us, that's the whole purpose of this, is how do we make our customers and their experience getting to the airport uh, a lot less stressful and a lot more convenient and a lot more efficient. They'll be able to get to Joby to book their Joby flight either via a click through on the Delta app or via Uber or via the Joby app. So they'll have different channels to be able to click through and book their Joby on demand. The Evital aircraft are very different from anything most travelers have ever flown in before, and some may wonder whether it is safe. Our aircraft, you can see it has six propulsion units, six propellers that will lift the aircraft into the air. So it gives an enormous amount of redundancy. There's four batteries, so they're all cross, so redundancy, no single points of failure. That makes it so much safer than perhaps a helicopter ride. Private aviation, carrying just small groups of passengers at a time, sometimes gets a bad rap on environmental grounds. That's very much on the mind of Joby and its partners. This is great for the passenger because it elevates their experience. This is great for the environment. It's zero emissions. It is great for the community because it is as quiet as you can get. Um, and the communities won't be able to hear any kind of chopping or any loud noise coming from it as it flies to and from the airport. We are committed to achieving zero net emissions by 2050. So for us, sustainable travel and the ability to be able to combine and elevate a customer experience while also doing it in a sustainable manner is a, you know, a key importance to us. So will this be another elitist mode of transportation only affordable to a small segment of society? Initially at launch, we're looking at roughly Uber black prices to get, uh, say, from Manhattan to JFK, for example. Over time, we hope to get this down to a little bit more scalable to more like a just regular Uber X price at scale. So that this can be something that people can use for daily commutes. 
So our first two markets are going to be New York and LA for multiple reasons. First and foremost, that's where we've invested in the customer experience the most, and it's where the most sophisticated travelers are. And so we know in New York, the, the biggest stress and LA is getting to the airport, but because of that level of sophistication, they're always looking for what's new and what's an easier way for efficiency to get there. For us, this was the perfect opportunity to continue to invest in where we've invested to elevate the customer experience even more for, for the, the people in New York and LA. So next time you're stressing out over that trip to the airport when you've cut it too close, keep in mind an alternative to an unpredictable taxi or limo ride could be here sooner than you think. If the cutting edge of transportation fascinates you like it does us here at Business Jet Traveler, you might want to follow our future flight team. They are tracking stories like this one day in and day out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from BJT.